was just looking at this photograph of Sam, and I noticed that uh, his ears are actually further back. It's back more closer to the, uh, more closer. It's back, let me try that again. His ears are back and lined up with the back of his skull, not in the middle of it. So I'm going to put the ear back. Uh, he has a longer forehead. Yeah, it looks better already. All right. Ah. I was checking to see if the nose looked too long, and it doesn't look too long. I was also checking to see if the eyes are too high. They're not too high. The uh, nose slants down just slightly, I think. Let me just check. Uh, let me get a different tool. Let me get a straight edge here. And I'll check and see. Yeah, his nose is lined up a little bit, but not much. It's slightly going down. And this nose is going down too far. Alright. So I need to raise his nose a little. And uh, let's see if we can do that. The thing that might be in the way is the armature. up with his uh, forehead, or top of his head. Yeah. Okay, let's put some clay down there and see how it looks. It was just a slight, just a slight change. But already I can see the difference. Yeah, his nose was down too low and and slanting a little too low. And because of that, his eyes looked off. All right. So as you can see, it just takes a little tiny adjustment sometimes. Okay. I knew something was wrong, I just couldn't figure out what it was, and it was just looking at that photograph that uh, showed me that his face was just a little off. you got to be your own best critic when you're sculpting. you got to be able to see, and, and, and being away from this piece for several days helped too. such a huge undercut on the side lip. But his mouth would go up just a little bit in the back corner. And same on this side.
If you uh, are interested in learning how to sculpt, or you've been doing it as a hobby or trying to get into it, uh, I've got eight DVDs that I currently uh, have in, for sale. And each one shows a, a different aspect of sculpting. And of course they deal with Western artwork, but you know, what I do in Western artwork can be done in any format that you choose to sculpt or subject you use to sculpt. Uh, I've been sculpting since 1965. I was in high school and uh, won three scholarships in it the first year I tried it. Of course, I didn't take any of the scholarships. I joined the Navy instead. Um, but you can take advantage of all those years of uh, sculpting that I've got behind me since 1965. All the little tricks, the little shortcuts, uh, advice, everything that I've uh, developed over the years so that you can be a good sculptor yourself, hopefully. It takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. And not one of my VDVDs is going to make you a professional overnight. You're going to have to spend years of uh, practicing, just like I do. But I can cut down on that time frame by giving you some of the tricks and shortcuts that I've uh, developed over the years. But anyway, um, I'm working on a DVD right now, or another DVD, uh, on the uh, sculpture I've spent the last two days sculpting, I mean coloring, uh, somewhere at Cowboys Walking. And I find, think you might find that one interesting. I'm taking it off of 54 different videos that I've placed uh, on YouTube uh, sculpting that piece. And, uh, and I will be adding other stuff to it as far as that goes too. So, anyway, just uh, go down to the uh, video description below this video on YouTube, and uh, take a look at the instructions on how to do that, how to buy them. And then, if you like my videos, click uh, subscribe, like. Let's see. Do it in this order like the video, <laughs> subscribe to my videos or my channel, and uh, in the menu uh, when you subscribe, that little gear thing next to subscribe, click on that and then click follow and you'll get updates of my videos whenever I put one up. So you'll never miss anything. Alright, I've got uh, Right now, I think I've got something like 1,500 videos, I think. Uh, I can't remember offhand. All right, people. Have a great night. I'm going to dinner. <laughs>